About three months ago, me and my best friend started dating. Since we're both part of a small community of mutual friends and colleagues who love to gossip, we kept our relationship secret. Oh, God. <sighs> Enjoy it while it lasts. You got fucking 29 more days of that for 2013. No more secrets. Mm-hmm. But now that we're serious, I feel uh, silly having to keep my distance from my boyfriend when I'm out in public. And my friend's trying to set me up with guys since they think I'm still single. How do I convince my boyfriend it's time to go public? And how can I break the news to this small community without it becoming dramatic gossip? That's from Mary in Illinois. How do you not? How? What is, what is what does everyone love more than anything else in the world? People they know getting together. No. Yep. Oh. You're wrong. The answer is, is knowing some shit that they shouldn't know that maybe not everybody else knows. So in your so, in your attempt to keep gossip from happening, you have created the, gossip. You have created the juiciest, most mm, mm, <laughs> thirty one. Do, do you know how you avoid gossip? You do the fucking Alan Alda move from West Wing season seven. Yes. You hold a press conference and you just talk it out for like four hours. Mm-hmm. You answer every question. You stand and you fucking deliver because what you have. Mm, God, it's so <laughs> fucking. Oh, it's gonna blow my load. It's thirty one flavors and I want to taste each one. You have done <laughs> fucked up. You have created the juice most you, they have probably hired a fucking private investigator because they want to know so bad. Oh god. Oh, when the first you person press it in the, you hid the press it in the closet and then you told the kids not to go in the closet or else Santa wouldn't come for them and now fucking the closet is all they can think about. And it's too late now. It's cuz you've already yeah. had a brief period. You're trapped in the closet. If you say it now. <laughs> if you come out with it now, all they're going to talk about is those two Fucking devilishly sexy months. Who knows what was going what on? What were they two, doing? What was that about? Months. They probably didn't want us to know because of how m- they were just pressing their butts together all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Griffin, wait till you get married. You are going to learn so much about what sex is. Well, I heard once you get married, they don't let you put your butt on their butt again. <laughs> no, you yeah. need to put your fanny against their fanny. Yeah. I heard if you put a penny in your jar every time you put the your butt on her butt in the first year of marriage and then every time after you take them out at the end then at the end you have to put all the pennies in your butt <laughs> mm-hmm. that is true 100 percent true that is <laughs> i read that in malcolm gladwell's the outliers <laughs> man travis just wants everybody to know he read a book <laughs> i just want it to be known and, and to be fair i listened to it I cannot read. Uh, Jesus. Uh, well, ma'am, as it says in Malcolm Gladwell's The Outliers, I'll have the uh, chicken McNuggets and an extra large Coke. Excuse me? Can you not hear me? I'll turn down my book on tape. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, it, listen, um, you got to... Uh, uh, and you first c- first and foremost, I need, I need you to be honest. I, I truly believe that anytime someone says, we're going to get together, but we need to keep it secret from our group of friends, the reason you do that is because you guys weren't sure if it was going to work out and you didn't yes. want to make it a big thing. Travis is 100% right. He's very wise. So now that you know it's going to work out, you need to just straight up be like, hey, we're dating. And don't just tell one person because that's how you create gossip. Yeah. That's like damming a river, right? And then you put a small hole in it. That's how it all breaks apart and becomes a thing. Just yep. tell everyone all at once. Travis had it right the first time. Do an uh, do an Alan Alda press conference. <laughs> Can you do a press conference at the office? Just have everybody. Hi. Hello, thank you all for coming. I've called you together for an important announcement. The problem is, where are you going to find a sign language interpreter at this hour? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know you're probably wondering why me and Derek are touching our butts together. Well, <laughs> let me go ahead well, and clear up any confusion there may be. Hola, me amo. <laughs> me amo, es Greg. It's me. Uh, Hermana, uh, Kelly, that means sister. Let me start <laughs> My over. My sister Kelly and I, now I know that this seems especially shocking now that you know we are blood relations. <laughs> we have been secret brother and sister and secret dating. How is your world? We just changed it. To be fair, we've only been brother and sister for a month and we've been dating for three. So <laughs> figure that one out. Thanks for getting married, mom and dad. New mom and new dad. Um. Yeah, but just be straight up. Just... You create gossip by not telling people. Like, 
what's interesting to people is not knowing for sure whether you guys are together. Now, uh, how much of full disclosure are we talking about? Like, will they do they really have to be like we are dating and we press our butts together like on the reg twice a day? Because then they're gonna once you if you just come out and say, hey, so just so you guys know, Derek and I are dating. Then they're gonna be like, oh, the like they'll be like, oh, we're so happy for you. And then when you leave the fucking room, the second you do, they're gonna turn to each other and be like, what do you think their butt pressing schedules like? Uh-huh. What's that, that is exactly what people tell do me about their like, tell me about their routines. Ooh ooh ooh. What if you just pretended like you assumed everybody already knew? So ooh. like go out go out on like a group thing or whatever, and just like hold hands and kiss and like do all the PDA. And God, we're like, what the fuck? Be like. We've been dating for, like, two fucking months. Where have you been? When did Travis become the f- Wizard of fucking Oz? Like He's so smart. Right? Like of, I read like, fucking Malcolm Gladwell's The Apple. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. 